So last week we dealt with single variable Boolean theorems, and this week we're going to talk about multivariable theorems. This is um, the commutative law, and it just says that order doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you have x and y going into a gate or y and x, the output's going to be the same. And the same is true of an OR gate. X or Y would be the same as Y or X. The associative law says that groupings relative, so if you have Y and Z joined in an AND gate and you have X joined in an AND gate to that output, it's the same as if you joined X and Y first and then joined Z to it. It doesn't matter. And then for the OR function, if you ORed together Y and Z first and then ORed in X, it doesn't matter whether you did it that way or first did X and Y and then ORed in Z. The distributive law. So this means that we can multiply things out. So if we have X and Y or Z, we can multiply that out and say it's equal to X and Y or X and Z either one of those. It also means that we can undo this, that we could basically, if we had x and y or x and z, that we could um, factor the x out. Then if we have x or y anded with y or z, that basically we can multiply that out. So we would do x times w and get the first term, then we do x times z and get the next term. Now we have to take the, w, the y and do y times w, get the third term, y times z, get the fourth term. Um, when you were in algebra, you might have called that the FOIL method. So here's an example, and it says to put the answer in sum of products form, all right? So we have not r and t, or r or not s, and not r or t. So what do we need to do with this term? The best thing to do with this term is to go ahead and distribute this out. So we'll do r, and not R, and then R and T, then not S, not R, not S, not T. Then there'll be some more steps, so let's look at what that looks like. So here we go, we have first we foiled kind of here, so R and not R, or R and T, or not S and R, or not S and T, all right? So R and not R, that's going to be zero, you see here. All right, anything or zero is just the other stuff. So we just drop the zero and get to this line. All right now we have a whole bunch of things that have a T in them. So if we factor the T out and we're just gonna bring the not S and not R down, okay, we're left in here with not R or R or not S, okay? So what does that become? R or not R is one, right? So we take one. So now we have one or not S T. So one or anything is what? It's one, right? So then you have T N one, right? So remember by that theorem, that's just T. So we get T or not S and R. The consensus theorem. Now these are the tricky ones, okay? So you have to look for this and as you apply these later, you'll have to really hunt for them. So we have not x or not x and y is equal to x or y. If that bothers you, make the truth table. Show that that's true. And so you see the one we dropped here was the one that went with the y. Same thing here, x or not x and not y becomes x or not y. So here's another variation of the consensus theorem. Not x or x and y becomes not x or y. Not x or x and not y becomes not x or not y.